Hello, my name is Sarai, CMO of Biomass Engineering. I'm happy you're interested in green energy and the efforts we're making in producing the first commercial use hemp battery. I think you'll enjoy learning about our development and how we're working with other industry leaders, as well as a building industry to implement our many hemp technologies. Before I get started, let's talk about the simple basics of how batteries operate to give you an idea of the magic behind why hemp batteries can prove to be superior as we move into a more sustainable future. We're all familiar with the batteries that power remote controls, cell phones, flashlights, and even car batteries. Different batteries have different solutions to storing and releasing energy. Power capacity is the energy stored in a battery, and voltage is the amount of energy that is released from one point to another. I think it's safe to say that batteries are magical in the sense that we use them without fully understanding or giving thought to how much we rely on them, how they work, and the environmental implications they can potentially have. As we develop, produce, and go into manufacturing, we're looking at finding solutions to help ease future potential grid crisis, lower green energy costs, and help the environment. When comparing what competitors are doing to develop alternative battery technologies, we have found that hemp isn't just ideal. It's a super capacitor. What makes hemp a supercapacitor is the molecular structure. We have found that we are able to take hemp fibers and convert them to carbon. When the hemp fiber is broken down to carbon, its hexagonal shape has the ability to store energy and release at a high capacity. Although hemp batteries are considered a hybrid solution, half battery, half supercapacitor, they require more storage space. It turns out that this is a perfect solution for our commercial use. And although this discovery may be a negative to some, we have found the positive, no pun intended. You see, this has allowed our scientists to explore how we use energy. Our scientists are developing a storage method called BIES, Building Integrated Energy Storage, which allows walls and floors to be used as storage, as well as capture energy by the movement in the room made by its occupants. Simply because hemp batteries function via physical movement of ions and not via a chemical reaction like most batteries, allowing energy to be captured by friction. And just when you think we've hit all the highlights, unlike batteries that last 1000 charge and discharge cycles before they lose most of their capacity, supercapacitors will typically last mm, about 1 million charge and discharge cycles. Supercapacitors have the ability to deliver power at a much higher rate than batteries. In comparison to batteries, supercapacitors have low energy capacity, typically 10 uh, to 100 times less than lithium ion. However, they can deliver 10 to 100 times more power. Let's look at the environmental impacts. Hemp batteries are environmentally friendly, are a low cost alternative, and are infinitely reusable. Hemp has expanded to food, biofuel, fiber, plastics, paper and cardboard, building material, green energy, and even milk and nail polish. I'm not sure if we have seen the end of the great ways that hemp can be used, but I can say with confidence that we've got the power. Our goal is to minimize environmental impact with our batteries, and although we don't foresee mining and processing of rare earth minerals to be completely eliminated from society, Biomass Engineering is working on alternatives to help lower our carbon footprint and bring viable solutions to help reduce environmental devastations where we can, and that is really what we have set out to do. Biomass Engineering is a leader in the hemp battery industry and creators of the first commercial hemp battery, backed by nationally acclaimed scientists, engineers, and green energy manufacturers to ensure high quality, longevity, and viability. Biomass Engineering is at the forefront of changing the face of sourcing sustainably, lowering carbon footprint, and introducing a new energy source for the empowerment of future generations. You will find our energy projects in countries like the US, Canada, Australia, Uruguay, and Paraguay. 
Our team is looking for 20 million to begin phase one. Our research and development team is expecting to use our technology by 2025 and start developing BIES technology as soon as 2023. Building out our manufacturing facility using our own energy storage solution as we develop and manufacture hemp batteries for commercial use. For more information, please visit our website at biomassengineering.com.